This is the June 4th Museum, the world's first permanent exhibit dedicated to the Tiananmen crackdown of June 4th, 1989. In this 800-square-foot room, photos fill the walls as news clippings recall the days leading up to the infamous event. Thousands of people were believed killed in pro-democracy protests in Beijing and across China. The Hong Kong Alliance, the group that developed the museum, believes a permanent place like this is vital to make sure people don't forget. New generation, they do not have any actual experience uh, for the 1989 and UN. But uh, after uh, our continuous education, uh, uh, we uh, do see that is a growing number of uh, new generations in, in Hong Kong and also even new generations uh, from mainland China who know more about the situation, uh, they would use probably their, their different positions uh, to see what they can contribute uh, to the progress and the development of both uh, liberty, human rights, and also democracy in the whole China. But building this museum wasn't easy. Choi says his group faced financial and legal obstacles. Some of the uh, pro-Beijing groups uh, in Hong Kong, they also uh, 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 protest against us and saying that the Hong Kong Alliance um, uh, review of the uh, information about June 4th uh, is uh, inadequate. No accident that the opening of the museum coincides with this year's 25th anniversary of the Tiananmen Square crackdown. The Hong Kong Alliance organizes an annual candlelight vigil to remember the events of June 4th. Choi, who's been attending the service since it first started, says he's seen a major mood shift in the past quarter century. For the first few years, as I remember, uh, the overall mood, they participate uh, mainly to mourn uh, for the uh, people uh, die. Uh, recent years, because uh, probably because of uh, a more young generation job, they would be more eager to express their anger towards the Chinese government. In 2013, police saw a peak of 54,000 people. And Choi may get that this year. Organizers are expecting 150,000 people, a record to remember June 4th, 1989. For The Wall Street Journal, I'm Eva Tam.